everybody. Here we are all ready to take you down to Pine Ridge for another visit with Lum and Abner. Brought to you by the makers of Horlicks, the original malted milk. see what's happening down in Pine Ridge. Well, at last, Lum and Abner's store on wheels is ready for operation. While the old fellows are somewhat handicapped by a lack of speed, the engine trouble that developed yesterday has been uh, temporarily solved by the substitution of a team of horses to pull the store while the motor is being overhauled. As we look in on Pine Ridge today, we find the store out for the first run. Cedric as driver... And Lum and Abner as traveling salesmen. Just at present, however, there doesn't seem to be any traveling as the store is stopped along the side of the road. Listen. Now just look at them shells. Mark and I empty. Ain't hardly a can left in them. It just ain't gonna work, Abner. Just look at that. If that ain't a sight. Well, ain't no use standing here. Let's get busy putting it back up in the shelf. Come on here. Help us, Cedric. Yes, Mom. Well, what's they used to put it back up there, Abner? Every time we hit a slanting place or a bump in the road, it all comes tumbling down on the floor again. Well, yeah, but there ain't no use to haul this stuff around on the floor long. Nobody ain't going to buy nothing that's looking like this. Well, there ought to be some way to make that can good stay up there, though. Of course, we could just take some boards and nail across the front of them shells or to board them up. Yeah, but how would you get the stuff out of the shells, then? Well, I ain't trying to figure out how to get it out. I'm trying to study up some way to keep it in there. Ah, well, that ain't going to work. I'll tell you that right now. Well, let's see. I'll tell you what you might do, Mr. Lum. Just stop right where you're at, Cedric. We've got enough troubles on our minds. How's you balling this? Yes, Mom. Ah. Uh, huh? Ah, uh, nothing. It won't work. What won't work? Nothing. I just thought I had an idea, but I never. Thought you had one. Yeah, yeah, I don't know what it was. It, it wasn't ideal. I never once thought about us having trouble keeping stuff in the shelves this way. Never was bothered with that when we'd run the regular stand and steel store. Well, what's causing it to fall out of the shelves, Mom? Well, just bumping around this way on the road. I know what's causing it. I just said I never once stopped to think about that giving us trouble. Any idiot to know what's causing it. Oh, oh, of course. Yeah, excuse me. Now, we better do something. I believe if you're just taking beer... Now, Cedric, just be quiet. We're trying to think. Yeah, go on back up there in the driver's seat where you belong. Go on now. Well, I just thought it... Well, we don't care nothing about what you think. Just leave us alone now. We couldn't tie them cans in there no way, could we? Take a string and tie them? Well, I don't know. It'd be awful lot of bother to on time every time we sold something. Yeah, that's right. Now, I'll tell you what we could do, Lum. We could take one can of everything we've got and just glue it up there on the shelf. 
blue it up there. Yeah, yeah, just put some blue on the bottom of the can and set them up there. That'll hold them. Yeah, that'll hold them or law me. That'd be worse than untying them. I have to pry a can loose every time somebody bought something of them. Oh, well, I don't mean to sell them. See, just have one can sitting up there in the shelf so that the, the customer can see what all we're carrying in stock, you know, and then just keep the rest of the stuff in cases set around on the floor. And when they buy something, I'll well, just get it out of the case there for them. Hmm, that's a idea for the shelves, though, to have a place to carry the merchandise. If we put a case of everything we've got down on the floor, they wouldn't have no room for the customers to get in here. No. Well, the uh, customers, they could stand on the outside, and, and then we could just sort of tell them what we've got in the shelves. No, that ain't going to work. It ain't. Ain't no use to bring the store along if we got to tell them what we got. No. Well, I hate to admit to it, Lon, but if you want my notions on it, we better just head her back for town. Rent that vacant lot to Moe's Moose Barbershop and Luke Spears Restaurant. Just drive her up there and take the wheels off and open up a regular store right there. You mean give up the idea of a rolling store on wheels? Well, I believe that's the best way out. We ain't had nothing but trouble ever since we started this thing. I'll never do it. No, sir. I granny, when a editor starts something, he don't give up. Trouble with you, Abner, you just ain't got no perseverance or something. Uh, you must always look forward. Don't never look backwards. Uh, uh, I say, keep your eyes to the front. Look ahead. Don't never turn and look back, and you'll make a success of yourself. Uh, who said that? I did. It's the old Eddard saying. My favorite motto. Well, it's the silliest thing that I ever heard of. Silly? Yes, sir, silly. Now, what if Cedric hadn't looked behind him when he went to back up a while ago? He'd have went right smack dab off of that culvert. He might not have done it anyway. Well, I always look behind me that way when I go to back up, though. Well, that's a good idea, too, said it. Don't believe what Laundry tells you. Well, that ain't what I'm talking about, though. That kind of looking back. Oh, uh, it don't count on cover, Tom. I don't think so. No. Well, if, if a feller wants to live long and do well, well, he better look back when he's going down the road, too, when he's lo- walking along the road. One of these briar hoppers will run over in these automobiles the way they drive around here. I uh, ain't talking about the kind of looking back where you have to turn your head to do it, though. Well, you ain't talking about what kind? The kind of looking back where you got to turn your head. That ain't what I mean. Well, how in the world is anybody going to look behind them if they don't turn their head? Well, if you wasn't so thick-headed, maybe you could understand it. Of course, I reckon a fella could turn around and walk backwards. Yeah, yeah, he could... He could look back in without turning his head. Uh-huh. No, 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 he couldn't either. No, that won't work. No, sir. If he turned plumb around, why, well, he'd be looking for it then. That's it. I know that I believe you've got me there, Well, huh? just quit studying about it, Admiral. Let's figure out how to keep this stuff in them shells. That's what we got to worry about. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Reckon a feller could move them shells around to where the... Hey, wait a minute, Lom. Wait a minute. <laughs> I ain't no good. I've got it. I've got it, Lom. Well, good. <laughs> good for you. What is it? Well, a, a feller could take and, and hold a mirror or a looking glass up in front of himself, and that way he could look behind him without turning his head. Is, is that the answer? Oh, for goodness. Abner, I ain't talking about showing up looking back. I mean looking forwards in life. In life? Yeah. Well... That's about the only time a feller can look for it, ain't it? Or back of either, as far as that goes, when he's alive. Well, just let it go. Now, Granny, if you'd spend as much time trying to help me figure out how to keep them cans up there in the shelves, we might get someplace. Huh? Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. Well, I believe if you fellas just take and lean them shelves back a little there at the top and sort of make them slant. Cedric, maybe. we told you to quit bothering us. Wait a minute, Abner. What'd you say, Cedric? I, I say, if, if you take and lean them shelves back at the top there, sort of slanting, uh, I believe them can goods to stay in there. Well, I don't see how that'd help. Why, sure. <laughs> what? Well, see, the can will be about half laying down that way. They can't fall out. They can't. Yeah, I grannies, I'm glad I thought of that. I know I'd figure out some way to remedy that. Well, <clears throat> turn it around, Cedric. I grannies, we're heading back for the blacksmith shop to get these shells big. Yeah, uh, Cedric just crawled out of the store here now. Uh, uh, Cedric, get back up here. We're heading for the blacksmith shop. Our troubles is over. Yeah, come on up here, Cedric. <laughs> well, well, we can't go now, Mr. Lum. One of these back tars is flat. Flat? Well, it's uh, 
rolling store is a great idea if they can ever get started. Lama Dabner and Horley will now bid you all goodbye until tomorrow at the same time.